Okay, guys, I know I look like a little clear, uh, what? A little kid right now. I got my hair in my puffs. Don't worry about that. My bestie just told me, uh, she showed me on Instagram that Starbucks, uh, has officially come out with their, their fall collection of drinks and stuff. So I'm up here finna get, um, my what? My pumpkin spice frappe. I recommend that to y'all if you're into like fall type flavors and stuff. Starbucks. Hey, can I get a venti pumpkin spice uh what frappuccino the cream a? Gotcha. Anything else? Uh, also, I'll just get a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. That'll be all. So we're actually out of those right now. Okay. Anything well, else I can get you? No, I'll just get the frap. Alrighty, I'm sorry about that. You're fine. Seven ten. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Guess who's getting their frap back? Y'all, I've been waiting, what is it? It's 5.25, I left the house at like five o'clock. So it's literally been like 25 minutes because the line was wrapped all the way around like this area and this is like a market and it's the actual Starbucks. So you have to go through like the street to get to the uh, entrance of this. So I was literally waiting for a long time because they have so many customers right now it is like spike time it's like five o'clock and they don't close till 10 o'clock so they're getting a lot of business i will say that did you can't hurry scoring like brown like this is my jersey i might get my but yeah i also forgot to tell y'all while i'm why am i out um i was at the house remember i went to the gym this morning why am i getting starbucks and i don't worry about that we'll we're gonna work it back off but um I had placed a grocery order from Walmart because I need to get some grocery. It's been like almost two weeks. Two weeks will be on Tuesday, but I'm not finna get out after class and go grocery shopping. So I did a Walmart pickup order and I'm finna go get that. That order isn't ready till like six to seven. So it's 527 now. So I still got a lot of time to get to uh, Walmart. And Walmart is literally probably like five minutes away um from where i'm at now so i got a lot of time to waste so i'm gonna drink my starbucks watch some youtube and yeah and every time i shirt, i be getting mine every time that shirt when it's real you ain't gotta prove nothing i just stand on it no need for discussions you know what it is ain't no need for introductions don't know how i do it i can't give you the instructions i'm just outside i'm living my life and i've been locked in minutes. be going to get starbucks i know the second time in a row but i gotta get this pumpkin spice in my system because i could taste fall around the corner
<clears throat> my voice is so raspy um it's 10 29 in the morning um also happy sunday today we do have a video that dropped today um and then this video i believe will be the next sunday because remember we're doing the breaks and stuff so so far um all right now i just kind of want to give a rundown give me a moment to get uh kind of comfortable i kind of want to get on the counter over there okay y'all ever since i got here i have found my my favorite place on this counter but um today is just like a chill day making sure that i have everything done for the week as you can see i am totally relaxed i just woke up and um what is it brush my teeth wash my face i did my dishes i didn't do a montage of that or like an aesthetic video i could have but i was watching goosebumps and right before then i was on the phone with my mom um so i wasn't thinking of that but i was like i want to make me some like tea which y'all saw and i was like i'll just capture like a cute little video of that so i hope y'all enjoy that that was my first time recording like one of those like aesthetic coffee tea videos <laughs> i think it was kind of cute though but um today like i said it's gonna be the last day of this vlog and then we'll start going into the week like i said today is sunday um i just kind of wanted to end this like vlog by like talking usually um i'll record what i do in the week or my day and then i'll end it by ranting or just talking about everything else that went between that <laughs> excuse me so quick little update um so like i said oh well i didn't say today is august 27th okay so i've been uh wanting like a puppy for a while now since i got here sometimes the apartment can be a bit lonely i'm not gonna lie so i kind of want like a fur baby or something small i was thinking about getting a fish but they die so fast y'all but i wanted something that i can like kind of maintain but i want something that i can kind of like maintain and that i know would live for a while so i decided to post on instagram um i was like is anyone selling puppies so prior to that um like like two a week to two weeks ago i've been rereading my lease and stuff to make sure what dogs are um allowed here because they don't want any like territorial dogs or too like aggressive like they don't want huskies i saw so many huskies that i wanted they don't want any like um great dames because they're really big pits rock rollers all that they don't want so i was kind of limited when i was like uh what do i want but i've never thought about getting one of those i forgot what it's an australian i don't want to say shepherd is that what it's called i forgot what he is already but i'm gonna insert um some puppy photos right here he's so cute so one of my friends reached out to me on instagram and she was like hey my um my sister's dog just had puppies and she sent me pictures and all i instantly like fell in love like seriously because i've been looking for a puppy for so long and she was like um you could have them and stuff and i was like yes so um she told me that he won't be ready to get off his mom until like september 23rd reminds me today is august 27th so that kind of gives me like a month to prepare um so my for my uh apartment for our puppies or any type of dogs it's like 300 dollars down payment and that's for the whole term of the lease so my lease is like 12 months so the 300 would go for the whole lease um and then every month would be a 30 dollars rent the, like payment so that's that's not bad um so what i'm gonna uh do well what i have already been doing is already looking up some dog stuff uh i've been so excited like yesterday i could not sleep after getting that news because i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna probably get a puppy uh something else that'll keep me company and stuff so i'm excited about that hopefully it does go great um i want to keep you guys around for that so i hope that i actually get to have that um what is it have a puppy here soon hopefully because that was like one of my, not one of my top things, but for like my Christmas list so far, I wanted to have enough money to probably get a puppy and enough money to probably get an official vlogging camera. So that'll be check one off of my list. 
Also, another um, thing I want to say for exciting news is I just applied to Target. Um, I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I've been wanting to work at Target for like a year now. Um, I haven't worked for about, what is it? It's 2023. I haven't worked since 2021, uh, my senior year of high school. And that's because like freshman year and stuff, I was trying to get adjusted to college and my schedule wasn't good enough to be able to put a job into it. But now it's kind of open to where I can put a job in there. So um, I applied to Target. If you know, then you know that their assessment takes like a long time. So it took me probably about, I want to say like 30, 40 minutes to finish their online like questions and stuff and now i just gotta wait for them to like process it and probably send me the link so i can do my virtual um my virtual what's it called dang i forgot what it's called when he's talking to somebody anyway but that's what i'm waiting on right now um so hopefully that goes good their pay is really really high so i'll be able to um I'll be able to live off that pay, like paying stuff for like by myself and stuff. Cause my goal, I don't know why I want to be like so independent right now. Like it's kind of like urging me. Like, does that make sense? Like I just got an itch. Like I want to pay something myself. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't pay my phone bill, but it's only like fifty dollars a month. I want to go ahead and like take that over, and just like feel like a sense of responsibility, and then soon. um start taking over big payments or whatever so yeah so that's the goal so far a new puppy hopefully a new job on the way um i've already kind of created my schedule for it and estimated pay and stuff so that'd be pretty um uh, nice to do um yeah so that's all for what's going on like as of right now what i have planned also i'm supposed to possibly get any puppy like i said on the september 23rd um and i decided to possibly start the new job on september 29th i've been doing a lot of research they said uh when the puppy when i get him he probably would be like a month or two so he'll be old enough to be left alone for a certain amount of time and um i'm gonna properly train him and stuff i already got like a list of stuff that i'm gonna do um what else is it yeah so i've been doing my research to see what he can eat and not around that time he can only um like one or two months and three he can only really eat like soft foods if that makes sense like, especially if i leave him here and like i got gates so remember my hallway i'm thinking about just like gating it from like one end to the other because i don't want him just cooped up in my room plus my room is carpet and if he does pee i don't want it on my carpet um uh, and then i'm gonna i'm gonna probably cut off the other gate to where like the entrance like where the bathroom and stuff is so that he can have like this whole part and i'll put his kennel over here and his food and stuff for like one end so that he can have some running around time um because i don't want him unsupervised in the living room until he gets older because i have cords that i need to be able to tell him like no to and then uh I could kind of keep a supervision of like if he peed somewhere like it's only like the hallway so I could see if he did something and then my room like I said is carpet um he could do it under my bed and I won't know or something so it's kind of like it's training it's a process um I'm so excited though I really am excited um uh what else I think that might be all so far. But yeah, so now I'm finna go, um, I did my dishes, got my tea, it's over here. It's still, what is that, sleeping or something? So um, all I gotta do today is finish one of my, I gotta finish one of my drawing assignments. And then I just gotta start working on a paper that's not due till September 6th. So I still have like a whole week. He gave us pretty much two weeks to complete it but i finished the outline for it so even if i don't start it until like this weekend then i'll still get it done um but i'm gonna go ahead and start working on that probably well reading the essay for it probably like tomorrow 
for Tuesday. So that's what I gotta do today. Not too much. Um, hopefully my schedule stays kind of like this. I know that once I start painting uh, my painting class, cause right now we don't have homework for painting because she's waiting for all of our um, assignments. I mean, not assignments, all of our materials to come in. Um, I've been going to the front of my um, apartment to get packages like back to back because they don't deliver to your door. They go to the, like, the front office or whatever that is, um, the leasing office to drop off your package and I've had so much stuff to get from there but so far I got everything I just need I'm waiting on one more item to come in tomorrow which is my paint thinner and once I get that I'll be all set for Wednesday we're gonna start painting so hopefully painting homework is not too much with the drawing homework and I'll still be able to manage my time good. Um, even if I start working, like I said, my cutoff, I know I keep saying like I said, but my cutoff, I said uh, 7 p.m. for, okay, let me tell you. So Monday and Wednesday, my classes are from 8 a.m. Uh, all the way to like 5 o'clock, 5.15. So it's like Monday and Wednesday, I have an 8 to 10.45. That's a studio class, my figure drawing class. The 10.45 to 1 is my lunch break every, um, from Monday to Thursday. 10.45 to 1 is my lunch period. And then on Monday and Wednesday, um, what is it? 10.45 to 1. So 1 to 2.15 is my world civ class and then from 2 30 to 5 15 is my painting class so it's 8 to 5 on monday and wednesday i told them i put on there i can't work on monday and wednesday because i'm already at school for nine hours i don't want to go to work and plus puppy i'm gonna have to probably come back to the house do lunch time on those days or i'm thinking about just putting my uh my camera so that i can see him uh, because that's a long time to go without like supervision but he's gonna have plenty of food and stuff but i might come in like from my break from 10 45 to 1 just to make sure that he's good and take him to the bathroom and stuff and then go back because i don't want to go like a whole nine hours um with him by himself it makes sense because they said puppy's not supposed to go probably uh while i'm at age probably like three hours but they said like five is okay so um, but definitely probably not like nine hours. So, um, we're going to figure that out. But Tuesday and Thursday, um, my classes are from 9.30 to 2.15. So, that whole day, he'll be kennel training. So, I kind of did how I was going to do. So, Monday and Wednesday, he'll be in the hall with the gates and stuff. With his kennel, uh, his food will be in there so he can kennel train knowing that food is in kennel and um puppy pad and all that stuff and toys and stuff is out tuesday and thursday he'll be kennel training so because i'll only be going for like five hours so he'll be in his kennel with his food and stuff um and then thursday no friday saturday sunday i'll be doing like a mix because i'll kind of be here um whenever i do work or whatever so i'll just like mix it up i know that because i said like kind of like part-time full-time i won't be working too long so if i do like some one of those day like friday well thursday could be kid on training so like friday i could probably have him out and then sunday and saturday i could probably you know just do whatever but we'll find out and see how it goes can you tell i'm excited um, I can't wait to see him and meet him and see. I also named him Fable because when I first saw him, that's the first name that came to me. Um, yeah, so that's it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and drink my tea and uh, go ahead and get started my work. But I hope you guys have been having a wonderful week and don't forget to smile. Hey y'all, so I'm editing the video um, that I had just created today and I just wanted to add in that um, when I got off the phone with my boyfriend, he was saying that I might be kind of like moving too fast with the whole like trying to get a puppy in in, in one week, um, get a job when I'm already like at school and stuff. So that's why I decided to kind of like hold back on a job for like a month and see how it goes. Um, so which means I get like two months to see how school's gonna go with the schedule and stuff. 
and then if I feel like it's too hectic, then I'll just have to push it back some. I hope that they still keep me. Um, but I could just be moved to like November and that'll be good because we'll be getting out of school soon. And I also don't want to feel like um, it's too much for him uh, to to fable because he's just trying to adjust to an environment and he's not being able to be around me as much. So um, hopefully um, everything will be okay with this. I know that I see that I will be in school and stuff and he'll be here some of the time, but I'm gonna still try to make time for him and stuff. So like when um, I do my homework here, by the way, so uh, each night I'll be here anyway. So I'll be able to um, bring him and then if I go up to the school, um, I could just put him on the leash and then probably uh, hold him somewhere. If I have to um, do my homework on like the weekend at the school or something, so he'll be there with me, probably in like a playpen. Uh, because we have like these big art rooms that sometimes nobody else goes in because most people leave on the weekend. So I'll be able to like bring him and stuff um, there if I do go any um, anywhere. But yeah, I kind of... I kind of feel bad in a way because I know like when you have a like I know it's not close but when people have a baby you don't just like want to up and leave that week because they need to get used to you and stuff um so I want to give him at least like a month or two to adjust and for us to adjust to each other and uh on those weekends I won't be like I don't go out really anyway but I'll be with him every weekend so I'll really be like um on it all four days out of a week but the other days i'll be able to be with him fully so i feel like that'll be good but i just wanted to put that in there um just like an update because i kind of see how it could be going so fast but yeah i just want to make sure i make the best decision um and hopefully i do get to see fable and bring him home if not then we'll try again next time uh -huh. Sending all